What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode. It's Coffee House Madness time. Let's get in the jam. What's going on, everybody? <laughs> guys, appreciate all the help you guys have been giving us, all the support. Every comment that you guys give us, we're gonna give a little doggy treats. It's like a, a, an electric little signal saying yep, we give treat, 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 treat. Yeah. What are we talking about today? So we're talking about game shows. Game shows, trivia. Specifically, game shows, trivia like questions with with Jeopardy, y'all. Yeah. Jeopardy. Oh, Ever wonder about the origins of, of Jeopardy? Jeopardy? Well, we're gonna tell you right up? now. Yeah. And we got, got Batman and Killer Croc. Batman Killer Croc statue. Specifically because of one is good and one is evil. And that everyone they're always trying to outsmart each other with trivia in their minds. Batman always has to be on top. Because he can't let Killer Croc, Croc win. win. So yep. That's it. So we're Oh because of that too, we got I, I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, we have Big Trouble in Little, Little China. China. Great poster. The top it says, says some, some, some people, people pick, pick the, the damnedest, damnedest places, places to start a fight. To start a fight, and that's a great movie. Just so you know, you haven't seen it, pick it up and you get a chance. All right. Yeah. We also have our um, family pack of fun for the Hasbro. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is family pack of fun, Xbox One trivia game. game. Great, 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 great game for everybody. As, mon as Monopoly as all the original. Yeah. Monopoly, who else? Uh, Scrabble, Trivial Pursuit, and Risk. And also. Risk, great yep. game. Yeah, we've got lo lo lots of fun with this one. All right, where are we at? So we're talking about Jeopardy and the origins of Jeopardy. Actually, Je right. did you ever wonder about Jeopardy, y'all? Let's yep. talk about that. So what happened was uh, there was this one guy named Merv Griffin, and, and and at the time he was he was actually really popular. He was on a he was on uh, movies. He was doing interviews with a lot of famous people, and he also was the creator of Wheel of Fortune. So, so he had he had a lot of background knowledge of I didn't know that of in, uh, of entertainment. So what right. happened was was he wanted to create a different game show than all the other ones. Telling you just an idea. That's exactly what it goes. Yeah. All right. So what happened was uh, one day he was on on a plane with with his wife Juliana and and they were talking just about game shows and he was like okay I, I like the old game shows because it's it's question and answers. He was complaining, right? Yeah. He was complaining to his wife. He's like, what's wrong with the shows today? Everything is just, it's just so different. Yeah, it's, he, it's, it's, he I want to like the original. I want the original. And what did she say? And she's like, well, that's good, but I think we should be doing like a, like people should be doing a show where it's more that uh, that you give the answer in the beginning. <gasps> and this is what happened. It was a great uh, idea. This is what we're yeah. going to do. Look at that. And then what So, happened? when they got back to New York, he started planning immediately. He started planning for all these different games that he was thinking of. Like, he was he, he was trying to think of a game where it was where you would he would give the answer first, and then you had to give it back to him in the form of a question. So, that's exactly how it always goes. For this particular show, him and I were talking, and I was like, one day... I know what to do. Go ahead, keep going. <laughs> so later on, what he did was uh, was one of his uh, partners. His name was uh, Ed Kane, and Ed Kane was uh, his kind of manager. So what happened was uh, was uh, he was telling him about his idea. He's like, okay, this is a good idea, meaning Ed Kane, but um, we need to give it a little more risk, a little more jeopardy. Oh, and that's where, is that where the name came from? Yeah, went, do it with me. Do it. Ready? <laughs> awesome. <laughs> And that's where he got the idea for the for the name of the show, which is called Jeopardy. Wow! Yeah, crazy. See right? that? Fantastic. And later on, um, after he started getting the game together, he went to a uh, to to NBC, and and he actually went directly to the CEO, which was Mort Warner at the time. Is that before Alan? Yeah, Alex, Alex Quebec or whatever. Yeah. Uh -huh. See, so, so I know stuff. Yep. So what happened was he was like, okay, I, I want to do a game, and. Um, Mr. Moore, he was like, no, uh, I don't think this, that, that this game is going to be very successful. He rejected it. Yes, he was like, no, ah, I don't think it's going to be a good idea. But, but his assistant, and at the time, he, that assistant was Grant Tinker. He said, well, I think this is actually a good idea because this is going to make a lot of money. This, this could be a very powerful investment. So, in the end, um, Mr. Warner actually did buy it. And guess what? Grant Tinker would later on be the next NBC CEO and company owner. Wow! Do you want me ready? Look at that! 
So, uh, never the show reject aired. an idea, ladies and gentlemen. Go ahead. Sir. So, what happened was, was the show aired and it became extremely popular. And um, since Mr. Griffin need, needed a host because he couldn't be there all the time, what he did was was he found a host that was his name was uh, Art Fleming. Okay. And Art Fleming was a was a he wasn't actually a host, but he was part of a TWA program, like a commercial, actually. So I yeah, remember this story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So he so he just kind of had some experience in entertainment. Entertainment. This, this is what Art Fleming did. He did. He did it. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. And uh, he was actually on there for like three thousand shows. Actually, yeah, he was on there for a very yeah. long time. And when the show was was revived in nineteen eighty four, um, the uh, Mr. Griffin had had to choose a different a different person because uh, the other guy. Uh, well, Vamoosed. <laughs> Vamoosed. He, wow. He so, said, Babusha. So what happened was uh, he chose a guy named Alex Trebek. And Alex Trebek was actually the, the original host for Wheel of Fortune. This is what he did. Ready? <laughs> me, me, I'm me, gone. Me. See you later. Nice. Nice. So what happened? What happened? So what happened was uh, he, he now he became the original host. And not the original, but the next host for the... New game. So that's how we Jeopardy. get. That's how we get. What's his name? Again? Alex Trebek. Alex, Alex Trebek. See that? And also, if you've ever wondered how to get on Jeopardy, it's actually a very simple program because anybody can go on there, but really? it's also very hard because they're only a very select few can actually go on air. So what happens is you basically call in or go to the actual um, Jeopardy company and say, "Okay, I want to join." And what you do is you go into the room, as a room, and then and then and then you basically take a test. And so yeah, anybody can apply. Yes. Anybody can. And I think it's like two hundred fifty thousand people every year. Two hundred and fifty thousand. Who want to apply for? To apply. Yes. All right. And then this number goes down to one hundred fifty thousand because, uh, I mean, fifteen thousand because because uh, of so many people who don't have to have to have the technical skills or the mindset to go on there. Right. I think they have an interview process where they have to select the person because once the cameras goes on and everything, people people don't Yeah, people sometimes, need to answer. They need yes, to they need they to answer yeah. and they can't screw up or anything. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. And then and then that fifteen thousand went down to one thousand five hundred because most people didn't pass the test. Right, right. And then guess what? Only five hundred people could actually go on air. Jeepers! All right, all right. And and then of that five hundred people, you can only do three people at a time on every show. Ah! Only, only three contestants. And out of and those only three, three, only one can only win. One can survive. Only one can win. Right. See that? That's why you yep. get a. See that? That's awesome. So. And one will survive. That's all. one will start. Okay. So what happens was, uh, if if you ever wondered also where they get their facts from, this is actually a very in-depth process and a, and a lot and a lot of verification. So what happens is, a large group of researchers they basically look at all the different sources that they have for let's say um, entertainment, and they look at all the different sources for let's say movies or, or like Star Wars, whatever it is. And, right. they, and they look up all the information on Star Wars and they compare it with the, all the other sources. And then and then they bring this information to a to the producer to verify it to make sure that it's good. And then they bring and then that producer brings right. it to another researcher right. to make sure that it's good also. And I then, think yeah it goes to the producer first. He does his checking. And then it goes verification. To, yes. From there, they, they go to a co-producer. From there, they go to where? Uh, then, then they actually go to directly to the to the new host. Which it is, goes which to Alex Quebec, and he yes, does a Alex lot of uh, like double checking and triple checking, just to make sure that the question is answerable. Yes. In such a way that it's it's written in 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 a well done manner. manner. So, so the so person like a, who's listening it's not too hard to. Well, not that it's not too hard. They're able to compute how, what they're asking. Yes, that's what it is. Okay, nice. So that's all. Yeah, that's, that's great. what we have for Jeopardy. Awesome. We got any jokes today? Yeah, we got a joke. Uh, what do you call a penguin who's in the desert? Penguin in the desert. Uh, I don't know. What is it? Lost. <laughs> get it? Get it? Get it? Because a penguin's not supposed It'll to be, be in the desert. desert. It's supposed to be in the ice. That's great. He's walking up to a lion. Right. Excuse me. Um, do you know? The, the, uh, do you know the direction to the Antarctic? Ah! Uh, <laughs> okay. No. 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 Sorry. He's, sorry. He's running away. I don't want him. I don't want him. Guys, appreciate the time again. Bring it with happiness every single day of your lives. Let's live. Let's love. 
and we are out guys appreciate your help